So if you want to get started with red light therapy, you may be wondering what is the best protocol for you to use to get the benefits that you are trying to achieve. So in this video, I'm going to be unpacking some of the factors that you should be looking at in order to create your own custom red light therapy protocol so that you get the best results. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia here and welcome to the Mychondria YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then make sure that you are both subscribed and that you've hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future content. On this channel, we talk about things like light, circadian rhythms, and how these things can be optimized so that you can live your best life. Now for today's video, we're talking about creating your own custom red light therapy protocol. Now, as soon as you look into the research on red light therapy, it quickly becomes apparent that different benefits have different protocols. So you'll see something like skin benefits will use a relatively low dosage. They'll use something like five joules per centimeter squared, whereas something like sleep quality can be 30 joules per centimeter squared or hair loss could be something as high as 60 joules per centimeter squared. And this joules per centimeter squared is basically just a measurement of how much energy you are delivering to your cells. Now, one of the problems in the red light therapy industry at the moment is that a lot of home devices will just give general guidelines. So they'll say something like five to 10 minutes, three to five times per week. And what this means is that you don't necessarily know if you're getting a high enough dose to get the full spectrum of benefits that are associated with red light therapy. You know, most people aren't coming to red light therapy for one specific benefit. There's a lot of different benefits that you can get from red light therapy. So you want to make sure that if you're doing a session, you're hitting the minimum amount of time necessary in order to get all of the benefits that you're after. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a really easy formula um, that you can use in order to calculate the dosage that you're getting and then to make sure that you're getting a high enough dose for some specific benefits. But at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you an extremely simple way so you don't have to do any calculations if you're choosing a high quality red light therapy device. So what I'm going to do in the description of this video is I'm going to leave a list of benefits and next to them I'm going to give you a dose in joules per centimeter squared that you can use to calculate how long you should be sitting in front of your device. Now it's very important that if you're going to be doing this calculation you need to have a specification from the device that you have and that is the light's intensity which is known as the irradiance. So the formula is dosage equals light intensity, which is measured in milliwatts per centimeter squared, times 60, which is in seconds, times 0.001. So to give you an example, if we were using a MyLite MIDI at six inches, that gives you 108 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So plugging that into the formula, the dosage that you're gonna get per minute is going to be 108 times 60, times 0.001, which works out to be 6.5 joules per centimeter squared. Now, once you have that information, you can then figure out, you know, if you're looking for something like skin benefits, you could literally do that within one minute. Something like sleep quality, now we're looking at around 30 joules per centimeter squared that we want to get as the end target, and we're getting 6.5 joules per centimeter squared. You're gonna be able to achieve that within four to five minutes. Now, as I said to you in the beginning of this video, there is a much simpler way that you can do this. And the only way you can do this is if you have a high quality device and the company is not afraid to compare their devices to the ones that are used in the scientific studies. So a custom protocol is often given when you see a high quality red light therapy device where they will tell you how long and how far away to sit from the device in order to match the same dosage that is used in the scientific studies. So if you look at all of the mitochondria devices, you will see that they come with a dosage chart. And this tells you exactly how long to sit in front of whichever device it is for a specific benefit. And another thing that I mentioned in the beginning of this video is that not everyone comes to red light therapy for a single benefit. So you could look at this graph and then figure out, you know, these are the ones that you want to get the benefits for. Or even simpler, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can get access to our protocol builder. And basically what you do on here is you literally select which benefits you're trying to achieve with red light therapy, and that will give you a custom protocol to make sure that you're hitting the minimum time for each of those benefits. If you guys have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. Other than that, I hope that you have a fantastic day further, and we will chat again soon. Cheers.